guys, what's going on? Sincere here, who is sincere.com, All Rights Matter TV, and the All Rights Matter show. Listen, guys, this is ridiculous. The Red Scare has reached YouTube. So, you know, if if you pay any kind of attention to what's going on with the Democratic Party and, you know, this whole Russian scandal and uh, was there collusion or not, the, uh, I mean, it's the same script over and over and over again. Let's try to um, drum up fear in the population of, you know, let's create an enemy out of the Russians. The Russians aren't doing anything that the United States is not doing. We meddle in everybody's elections all the time. It's what we do. We overthrow countries, replace their leaders. If if Russia spent $100,000 on Twitter, I don't care. I really don't care. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me because it's almost insignificant. If they have trolls on all the major social media sites and those trolls operate it, you know, a few days out of the election cycle or, you know, put up a few, uh, pushed a few different agendas or tweets here and there, I don't care. It wasn't a, a, a there was nothing to say that Russia tipped the scale uh, in favor of Donald Trump. Nothing. There's nothing there that says that. If there was, it would have came out a long time ago. If there was any kind of collusion as far as Donald Trump going to Russia and then, you know, or, or getting money funneled directly from the Kremlin or from Putin to him, you know, for him to run for president, that would have came out a long time ago. But it's simply just to prop up, um, prop up an enemy so that everybody has a target to be afraid of. And after you prop up that enemy at the same time, tear down your enemy. It's a tactic that they're using. So this is an art of war tactic. Like at the end of the day, you know, they're playing two enemies against each other. So it... You know, we should get tired of seeing this script because the Democratic Party is not offering any any alternative. They openly shun Bernie Sanders and any progressive that has any kind of meaningful meaningful ideas. So there's that. You know, so your 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 Democrats and your Republicans, they're all bought off. Let's just be completely honest about it. They're all bought off. Okay, so they're not paid to um, push the truth. They're paid to push lies. So that's the reason why all of them are talking about this Russia, Russia, Russia thing. They don't want to talk about the problems in our economy, the, the problems in our society, the fact that we have all of these homeless veterans in combination with many other homeless Americans. So, the Russia diversion is very effective at, um, you know, uh, stopping any kind of real conversation. And uh, it's also used as a tool to demonize people. Because then if you don't believe in the Russian scandal, like they do to Jimmy Dore, they ask him why he's being a Putin bot. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that people are falling for this crap. It really is, you know, and, and don't see that this is all state-sponsored propaganda. I'll say it again, state-sponsored propaganda. If you buy into this, you're only buying into the corruption and tyranny that is surely to come. You're only buying into your own demise. You're only buying into more of a police state or more laws and regulations. And those laws and regulations never seem to affect the enemy. They always seem to affect the people at home. So we continue to slip into a prison state and enslavement as we continue to go with the propaganda narrative established by the media not knowing that it's to our own demise. Don't do that. Don't be that person. YouTube is slipping. Here's YouTube. 
listen, it's time, man, look, it's time to get off of YouTube, okay? It's time to get off of Twitter. Well, Twitter is okay right now. But pretty soon it won't be. But it's time to get off of Facebook. Leave Facebook alone. Leave YouTube alone. These companies have demonstrated that they are not for us. They do not care about our voice. They will allow governments um, to subvert freedom of speech through their companies. We should not support their companies. Thank you to the blockchain, we have a whole different way of going about uh, communication and a whole different way of talking to each other. Sign up for a Steaming account. Under this video, you can go to my Steaming account and follow me. You can see how easy it is to get a Steaming account. You comment, you earn money, you like something on somebody else's thing, you help them earn money. And this is real cash you can put in your account. You can put it right in your wallet. So sign up, get a Steaming account, go to DTube, get off of YouTube. Let's go to DTube. I have a DTube account. Follow me on Steam it. You'll see my DTube videos as well. And again, that link will be in the, uh, the description box. But this is why we have to get off of these platforms. This is why RT is, in my opinion, the most truthful news outlet that exists in the world. In the world. In the world, not MSNBC, not CNN, not Fox, uh, ABC, BBC, nothing like that. C-SPAN, well, C-SPAN is great. It's a little bit different. But RT has to be the most honest station especially when it comes to American politics, that's out there. Now, do we hear a lot about what's going on in Russia? No, nah, we don't hear a whole lot about what's going on in Russia, but do they have segments about Russia? Yes, they do. Are all of them favorable? No, they are not. So when it comes to delivering truth on a global scale, this company has some of the best talent out there. Um, a guy I've been cool with for years, Lee Camp, uh, has redacted um, redacted tonight on there. Um, <laughs> it's a great show. He's really taken off. I'm, I'm really proud of him for the great work that he's doing on RT. Um, as a matter of fact, I should, you know, because a lot of you people will say, oh, well, you're just saying that, you know, you're cool with Lee Camp. But yeah, look, RT is funded in whole or in part by the Russian government. So let's go over to my Twitter. And right now, Lee Camp is killing it over at RT, guys. Killing it. So as you see, you know, I've been talking to Lee Camp for a while now. And I would just talk to him, like call him up on the phone, like, hey, Lee Camp, what's up, brother? What's going on? But just following online. He's a good guy. He's always been him. That's what I enjoy about following Lee Camp. He doesn't change for anybody. And he's only gotten better as his knowledge has expanded and as his platform access has expanded. Um, I like to take credit for Lee Camp uh, and um, Jimmy Dore, but we'll, that'll be another video. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, people like this off of Redacted Tonight, and I'm sure many of you know who Lee Camp is now. Um, this guy is not, you know, working for the Russians. And, and this is what I'm saying. And he all he does is expose truth. You can't watch a show and be like, oh, there's nothing truthful going on on this guy's show. Um, you know, none of this. Like, ah, this is crazy to me. This is crazy to me that YouTube would go out of the way 
out of the way to put this on there to to further the red scare this mccarthyism tactic you know this has a very low level psychological effect that's that's permanent and lasting you know you don't need to be making the russians your enemies like i'm just going to keep it real with you that's not your enemy there's people in your government that are doing things to you every day to make sure that you have less freedom to make sure that you have less access less of everything as much as they can squeeze you if they can squeeze you for a dime they're going to squeeze you for a dime so i don't know guys i this just makes this hurts my heart to see stuff like this rt is funded in whole or in part by the russian government come on man let's just say that even if that is true you know at the end of the day what they don't want to tell you is and i've done uh i've covered this on my channel you're not going to find this on anybody else's channel that's out there on, on the internet just to be honest with you what i'm about to say but what they won't tell you is that um we have worked with the russians in training the islamic fighters that existed in that region and it was all by proxy so if you look at the north caucasus region and the the um islamic fighters that are in that region they're all white islamic fighters you never see those people on the news never never but they're the most highly trained um versatile fighters with the uh with the best backing they have russian backing why because they're also integrated in the chechnya and that falls into a whole different conversation but i have a whole video on that there's a few of the fighters that have gone back and forth and it's a long story but at the end of the day, these are the fighters that were used to go train the rest of the fighters in the Middle East. Whether you're talking about the conflicts in Syria or uh, what's that other place? Um, oh, I can't think of it right now. Um, but they've gone on to different battle fronts to actually train the people in that area. And these people are from the North Caucasus region. And they're, they're, they pledge allegiance to ISIS. So this is something that the Russian government, you know, of course, this is on their watch. This is their, their people, if you will. Um, and this is an area and region of the world that the U.S. government never focuses on. Never focuses on. And there's a ton of people there of Islamic faith. So, um, and that mean no good. I'll try to look for that video on this channel. I'll go ahead and uh, share that in the description box too. So you can see what I'm talking about, but we don't talk about that. We don't talk about how the U S government worked with the Russia government to train the, the actual fighters that were in that region for a lot of the chaos that was caused in that region. All of what you're seeing is just a show. It is really just a show. Okay, so this is more of the show. RT is funded in whole or in part by the Russian government. That's more of the show. So, just wanted to bring this to you, give you my feelings, my opinions on the whole situation. Um, you know, people like Lee Camp, uh, Kaiser, um, you know, uh, these people are not bad people. Um, what's another show I watch? Watching the Hawks. That's a great show. Um, you know, these are not bad people. These are all good people that you would definitely have a drink at a bar with and have a great time and have some good conversation, open, honest conversation. But yet you see the, the stiffs that exist on uh, mainstream media. You wouldn't want to have a drink at the bar with those people. I wouldn't even want to be seen in public with some of those people. 
Oh my God. <laughs> so at the end of the day, this is really sad. We got to get off of YouTube. We got to get off of Facebook. Um, eventually we got to slide off of Twitter. There's awesome alternatives that are coming down the pipe pipeline. Um, we got steam it. Um, uh, you got D tube, you have Zapple, which runs on top of steam it, but it's for micro blogging. That reminds me a little bit of Twitter a little bit. So, I mean, there's options that are out there. We just have to start getting into these decentralized options. Um, I'm all for it. Again, go to the, uh, to the description section below and find my links because I'm, I'm getting off of these platforms. I'm getting off of YouTube. I'm getting off of Facebook, Twitter. I'm going to slowly start weaning off of these platforms because they're no good. They're destructive. And uh, these algorithms, uh, you know, they can help change the way you think. And I don't like knowing that. So if you agree with me, then migrate with me. But I just wanted to point this out. This is what YouTube is doing now. Here it is, guys. Again, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Get this out to somebody. Let somebody know the truth of what's really going on. Stay alert. Stay alive.